Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name's Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we're the Leffersons, and today we have a packing video for you guys. We are about to head off to Disney tomorrow for eight full days. So what are our actual dates? Because that does determine what you pack. So we are going to be there from June 15th through the 22nd, and if you've ever been to Florida or Walt Disney World in the summer, it's very hot. So if you are going during the summer, we are gonna have lots of tips and tricks for you, some awesome things that you should bring that will make your trip more, a little bit more comfortable during those hot months. And as a reminder, everybody packs a little bit differently. This is what we choose to bring. Yeah. There's some things that we have learned, like Alyssa said, and we're gonna share those with you. So here's the plan. We have all of our stuff laid out behind us. You can kind of see it. <laughs> and of course, anything uh, that we have found that we have loved, we will link down below. We would not recommend something that we didn't truly believe 100%. in though. So That's... we will leave anything linked down below that we possibly can. And I also just want to mention before we film this that we tend to overpack, especially yeah. since we have a YouTube channel. And uh, I would say something else just before we get started is that during the summer months, we pack two outfits mm -hmm. for each day because we sweat we a lot. We sweaty people. And we park hop. So just a little bit of a little bit of information beforehand if you are more of the minimalistic and not don't like to pack a lot we've been to disney in a backpack before yep just a backpack we've also been in just a carry-on so we'll leave some other of, of our older packing videos down below for you guys but this is like the newest updated so i would still keep watching for all the tips and tricks of the things to bring to walt disney world let's do this so as you can see we've got a ton of clothes but we're actually going to start down here with the shoes we are bringing for the entire week. As you can see, we have a lot of shoes for two people, but I highly recommend bringing multiple pairs of park shoes because your feet will hurt from walking in the parks all day. So Garrett is bringing a pair of gym shoes. He also has a pair of Birkenstocks. We love Birkenstocks. I actually wear them to the parks as well. I have my own pair right here. We also have two pairs of flip-flops for the pools. And then I have lots of other shoes. I have three basically different gym shoes. These are just from Target. They're nothing special, but they're actually really comfortable. So I wear them to the parks. I also have another pair of Birkenstocks and just a pair of sandals in case if we like go out to a nice dinner or something like that. So that's our shoes. And moving on to Garrett's clothes. If you haven't seen us before, I learned a while ago that I always thought t-shirts were the coolest way to stay cool in the park. I was wrong. It is these button up shirts. These are my main tops that I bring. So that will explain all of the different tops that I have. So let me show you those. So since we are going to Disney, I have all of my Disney shirts, Winnie the Pooh, Tangled. You have Space Mountain, you have Bing Bong, a bunch of up shirts, but then we are in the Tropicals. So I have all these wonderful colorful shirts that I use whenever we go to like Disney Springs or like Epcot. Um, and they're great. And as Alyssa said, we go through about two outfits a day, but then I have a couple t-shirts. I do not wear t-shirts underneath my button ups because it's too hot for that. I got my underwears, I got my socks, bunch of sleep shorts, a couple t-shirts. Um, one of my favorite is this Baymax with his belly sticking out and it says beer belly, which I love, uh, a bunch of shorts, that's all mine, that, that's, that's my only section. So to give you an idea, that is 12 button ups, six t-shirts for eight days. It's, it's sweaty down there, it's hot, and I don't like to wear the same clothes, because, ew. But we are gonna be doing laundry partly through this trip. That is a nice thing about Disney property. They do have laundry on site available for you, um, and Alyssa will talk more about that as we go. But everything else is essentially uh, Alyssa's. So for reference, this is all of Garrett's things, and then this? is all my stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into it over here. Garrett, I don't think he mentioned his swim trunks, but he's bringing two swim trunks. And I am also bringing two swimsuits because we will be going to the pool. I also brought like just a few tank tops to wear underneath some shirts in case if they're like see-through. Back here, are just my bras and my underwear and my socks are in here. I don't think you really need to see that, but I am bringing about three to four pairs of pajamas 
And I also have like one pair of leggings. I'm also gonna be wearing a pair of leggings on, uh, on our travel day. And then I have just a few pairs of comfy shorts to wear around the resorts. And then I'm bringing a lot of jean shorts. My style is basically jean shorts and t-shirts. That's basically what I wear to the park, especially in the summertime, because it's very hot. So I have a lot of shorts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs. I'm probably gonna wear them all. I also have a bunch of t-shirts, all really Disney-inspired t-shirts. I'm pretty much a t-shirt kind of gal, so I've got a lot. And then I also am bringing some like nicer shirts. These are all like tank tops. I've got one, two, three, four, five tank tops because it will be pretty hot. And then I also have just some other nicer t-shirts in case if I just don't wanna wear a Disney shirt to the parks or to Disney Springs or to dinner. Up here, I am also bringing four dresses. I don't typically bring a lot of dresses, but dresses are cool and Disney is hot, especially in the summer. So I'm bringing this cute up dress and this tangled dress. I will try to link them if they are still available. And then I'm also bringing just a plain blue dress and this flowered dress from Old Navy. I will probably wear these two to the parks, but these two I think are going to be for Topolino's and for Raglan Road when we go to Disney Springs. I am also bringing this adorable popcorn bucket. I actually purchased this on one of our last trips. And fun fact, if you purchase a popcorn bucket, you can then go back and get $2 refills for popcorn. So bringing this with, Disney popcorn is just the best. So recommend getting a popcorn bucket on your next day because who can beat like $2 popcorn? That's just like the cheapest snack ever. Moving on from my clothes to my accessories and it wouldn't be a Disney trip without a bunch of Disney ears. I have a ton of different pairs. I have this piglet pair. Um, some of these are just from Disney. That's like a lounge fly pair. These are from Bibbidi Bobbidi Brook. I've got some Once Upon Wonderland ears. I will leave pretty much, if any of these ears can be linked, I will leave them down below. These ears are Charlotte ears, hand painted. Amazing. I'm also bringing two of just these little knotted headbands as well. I will leave them linked if I can. Garrett is just bringing a hat his good old Disney D hat. <laughs> and then I'm also bringing some lounge fly bags. I cannot pass up bringing multiple lounge fly bags, especially when we go for a full week. So I am bringing this adorable Tiana bag. I am bringing Rapunzel and there's a little Pascal on there too. I'm also bringing this adorable 100 Acre Woods gang and the Mickey balloons. And then this is also another little handy dandy tool that I will probably be using with the lounge fly bags and with the ears. Basically, this is something that I can attach to my lounge fly bag. And if my ears start hurting my head, I can take them off and loop them around my bag. So I will be bringing this and probably using this as well. So apparently it's a thing to show what's in your toiletry bag. And as a dude, <laughs> I have literally deodorant. I use Native. Um, I love this stuff. It doesn't have any aluminum or parabens in it, which is like bad for you. It's not a antiperspirant. You'll still sweat, but you just won't stink as bad. I love it. Um, native, hit me up. Uh, but then, you know, I got a beard brush because I have a beard. I have some cologne for smelling good. Basically, everything in here is to prevent me from smelling. Uh, that's basically all that <laughs> I have. And your toothbrush. Which prevents there. my breath from smelling. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, prove me wrong, nothing in there. <laughs> Except, where's your hair gel? Your it's, hair gel. it's in the bathroom. Oh. That's, my, that's my beard balm to keep my <laughs> beard from smelling. <laughs> so you will also be packing your hair gel tomorrow. Of course. So moving on, we have this large table filled with basically everything else we are bringing. So I'm gonna start over here. As you can see, I have a lot of plastic bags. I just use these big old plastic baggies to put my liquids and toiletries in. In this bag, I just have shampoo and conditioner. The Disney resorts do provide shampoo and conditioner and it's actually really nice. I just have like a sensitive head. So I bring my own stuff. And then I just have some, it's a 10 spray face lotion, some dry shampoo, baby powder for your feet and for your shoes, especially if you're not wearing socks, this is like a lifesaver. Um, and some hairspray. And then in my other big plastic bag, it's basically all sunscreen, different sunscreens. I've got some aloe vera in there. 
and all sorts of sunblock. I also have this little face sunscreen, which I love. I always recommend bringing like some travel size sunscreen as well because I put the travel size sunscreen in my park bag so that I don't have to bring like a huge thing of sunscreen into in, to the parks with me. And then on the front of this, I also have Gold Bond, which Garrett like swears by <laughs> for um, rubbing even like between your legs and things. This is a lifesaver. And then these are just some wet ones. This cute little Eeyore bag, which I don't think exists anymore. I got it from Box Lunch a long time ago. This has basically all of my makeup inside. So I'm not actually gonna go through any of that. I don't know, if you guys want a makeup tour, let me know, but I'm really not a makeup connoisseur. <laughs> this is also just more makeup. In here, this is actually my bag that I will put in my park bag. But in here, I basically just have another little sunscreen, some tissues, some uh, gum. These are amazing. This rice paper doesn't make your face as oily, especially when you're sweating. I also have just this little bag of like ibuprofen, Tylenol, there's Pepsid in here. Got some tampons down there in case if anyone needs it. You know, the typical stuff that you would need for a park day. I think I also have some Band-Aids at the bottom of this as well. In this plastic bag, I have cooling towels. These are a lifesaver literally a lifesaver and we actually just used these on our last trip to florida and they were amazing so i will leave these down below it comes in a set of four you get four different colors and then i also have in here some like plastic fans and these may look like a stupid thing to bring to disney but they actually since they're like plastic they put out a lot of wind so these are awesome if you like don't have your own personal fans these are awesome to just like fan yourself down when you're super hot. I have three of these, but then I'm also bringing in this bag, I have two personal fans, which are really awesome. I will leave these linked down below as well. And I also, this little pineapple thing is a pineapple umbrella because it rains a lot in Florida. It rains so much in Florida that I would also recommend you probably should bring some ponchos, especially if you're going during the summertime. It rains every single day in Florida during the summertime. It may last two minutes, it may last two hours, it may be all day but it's going to rain. So make sure you've got umbrella, make sure you've got ponchos. We also have packed raincoats. I don't think I showed you guys that, but we also each packed a raincoat. So all the rain gear you're gonna need. In this little Kate Spade pouch, I basically just have all of my jewelry. I'm not gonna take that all out, but bracelets, earrings, necklaces, you need it, it's in here. This is a bag full of masks. I've got disposable ones, I have Disney ones. They also just announced the day that we are arriving at Disney, which is tomorrow when we're filming this. If you are fully vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask basically anywhere on Disney property except for Disney transportation. So that's gonna be amazing because it's gonna be hot, but we're still bringing obviously masks for monorail, Skyliner, buses. You still have to wear it to all those places. So bringing some masks. I'm also bringing a bag of koozies because we like to have drinks by the pool. So that's just a personal preference, honestly. <laughs> and then right here on this baggie, I do have some little tied travel sizes and some dryer sheets because we are doing a split stay. We're staying at the Riviera for the second part. So we will have a washer and dryer in our room. So we're gonna do some laundry halfway through. And then in this bag, I literally just have a bunch of sunglasses, Garrett's, and then I have like four pairs in there. <laughs> I tend to lose my sunglasses, so I bring lots of pairs. Down here, these are not something that anyone would typically have. These are our business cards, which I will be putting in our backpack. Sometimes we like to have conversations with people and then it just leads into, we have a YouTube channel. So I pass these out from time to time. I have our Magical Express information. So I will need this when we get to Disney tomorrow. In this bag, I have all sorts of basically drugs. So I have Pepsid, I have my allergy meds, I have Tylenol, ibuprofen, basically everything that we would need in case if we are not feeling well. And then in this baggie, I have basically all sorts of different size Band-Aids. I also have some Neosporin and some anti-itch cream. Honestly, I would recommend bringing this, especially if you've never been to Disney. 
you walk so much and you don't even realize how bad your feet are gonna hurt. So bring Band-Aids and probably Neosporin for blisters because you're probably gonna get them. Another staple for a hot summer day at the parks calls for an insulated bottle of water. This will keep your water cold for very long. So we always bring one of these. I also have my straightener over here and three different brushes. I know you're probably wondering why I bring three brushes. This is obviously my round brush. This is one of my wet brushes and it's Tiana. So like, I feel like I need to bring her. And then this is just a smaller wet brush, but I actually put this in my park bag because my hair tends to get knotty. Sorry about the hair in my brush, by the way, it's fine. Um, but my hair tends to get knotty after riding rides and stuff or if it rains. So I always put this in my park bag. We're bringing a lint roller because we have a cat and you just never know when you're gonna need it. And this is basically just a very tiny bag of snacks. We basically just are bringing packs of gum because they do not sell gum anywhere on Disney property. So if you like to chew gum, buy it beforehand, bring it with you. And then just some Belvitas in case if we get hungry. We typically bring a lot bigger of a snack bag, especially if we're going for a few days. But since we're going for so long, we're actually Instacarting a ton of food to our room. I'll probably be vlogging that or will be vlogging that to tell you how it all goes. But that's why we're not bringing a lot of food with us this time. Otherwise I'd recommend bringing snacks because Disney food's expensive. Your narrator has now changed. It's Garrett. So in our last FabFitFun, we got these uh, activity books, which are actually pretty legit. They have uh, Sudoku and word searches, but they're like adult level. Um, and I'm on board with them. We're taking them for our flight. But this is a Pinfolio and it's just uh, two sides, but these are all of our uh, quote unquote nice traders that we have. Then we have some more traders here. Alyssa has ears. My guilty pleasure are magic bands. So this is my newest one that we got on our last trip, which I love. Uh, but these are the ones that Disney sent us uh, and I'm so excited to wear them. I like to mix them up with the parks, but then we have our new emos, which are gonna join us on our trip. We have Eeyore and Piglet. And then hiding behind all of this is our very small, surprisingly, text section. Uh, I have my Amazon Kindle because I like to read books. This is uh, my Mac 2013 MacBook Pro, still running like a champ. Alyssa has her Fitbit to count all her thousand billion steps. I have an Apple Watch that does the same thing. A Nintendo Switch for the flight. We just got a new battery pack. This is an Anchor and 10,000 milliamp hours. It has wireless charging along with USB-A and USB Type-C. We can charge like three things at one time. A little tiny speaker for our room. Obviously the camera that we are shooting on is our DJI Osmo Pocket 2. This is the case for it. We love our Pocket AirPods and that's about it for technology. But one of the most important things is that battery pack I talked about because the single most important thing that you need to bring to the parks is your phone and your phone that has the My Disney Experience app. You must have that because it has wait times, it has reservations, it has your tickets, it has everything on it. And last but not least, where are we gonna shove all of this stuff? It is in our luggage. Uh, we have two, our two carry-ons, our hard-sided carry-ons from Go Penguin, but now they've changed to Turio. This is a Alyssa's checked luggage, it's a Samsonite. This is a Victoria Knox checked luggage, which is mine, and it's probably as old as me. My parents gave it to me. Uh, then we have these travel pillows from v uh, Vera Bradley, right? Yeah, Vera Bradley, and they fold out into blankets, which is great because sometimes those rooms get a little bit chilly willy. So that's what we're packing. Yes, so we're gonna pack it up. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse or whatever while we pack it up. I will show you how I pack my ears. I think a lot of you have asked that, so I will show you how I pack those. Maybe a few other tips and tricks, and that'll be it. And we are packed. Yes, we are. I didn't really show you, I don't know if you could actually see in the time lapse, but I basically pack my ears in these little, they're basically the size of ear bags. 
and I put them, I usually put them in my carry-on luggage, but this time I decided to check them because they're lighter to check. So we yeah. put them in checked bag this time. We've been real close at the 50 pound mark on our last checked bags. We actually bought a scale this time <laughs> and I think we'll, we'll be okay. But we managed to fit everything in one carry-on, two checked bags. Yes. And, two and then we'll backpacks. have our two backpacks. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. So everything's pretty much packed except for just like our last minute things, like our phone. Obviously, we'll need like our wallet, yeah. annual passes, things all the like stuff that. you you travel with. Right. Exactly. Now, for the record, I fit all my things in a carry on in a backpack. Just putting that out there. But that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up. That'll help us out so much. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you have any questions or let us know, did we forget something? Is there something that you always bring to yeah. Walt Disney World that we don't bring? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And you guys will have to check out the comments and see if there's anything that we missed. But I am a tired boy. <laughs> we have, what's our wake up call tomorrow? Uh, we have to wake up at like 2 a.m. Oh my gosh. So. It's time for bed. It's time for bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, subscribe to our channel for more Disney content. Follow us on Instagram. Yep, at the Leffersons. Yep. And also, there'll be a bunch of vlogs from this trip coming out. Yeah. So if you want to see us wearing all of these things <laughs> that we packed, make sure that you subscribe with that bell icon and the yeah. rest will be history. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you real soon. Bye guys. See you later, I'm tired. Oliver obviously doesn't want us to go anywhere since he's sitting on top of all of our packing cubes. Do you want us to go to Florida? Hmm? Hmm?